My name is Rhonda Rutledge. I'm the Executive Director of Sustainable Food Center. So Sustainable Food Center um, started as Austin Community Gardens almost 40 years ago. Those two agencies merged back in the early 90s. And so we've got about a 40 year history in this community, um, helping people grow, share, and prepare healthy local produce. It's kind of our motto. How do you grow it? How do you get it into the hands of consumers? And how do you prepare it into delicious meals for your family? Right here where we're standing, um, behind me you see a 2.3 acre future community garden. Uh, that land, in addition to the land for our training facility, Sustainable Food Center, was donated by the Meredith family. And this is in a very transitional neighborhood where a lot of folks um, have said to us that they really want access to, to fresh produce. And so the community garden is going to be an amazing little jewel right here in the center of this entire trans-oriented district where upwards of 70 families will be able to grow their own food here in this garden for their families. Um, we were able to bring 600 volunteers out from 23 different companies to this site that you see behind me, doing everything from laying down the foundation for the garden pathways and, and physically crushing the granite um, where the teaching pavilion is going to stand. Um, really laying the groundwork and the framework for this community garden that so many families are going to be able to enjoy. Um, we even had these volunteers cleaning bricks um, that we got from a building that was taken down in Central Austin so that we can use those refurbished bricks on our new building as part of, you know, our idea of sustainability and recycling. Rachel, what are you doing? I am wire brushing bricks. That's why? Because they didn't bang all, bang all the mortar off good enough over there. They were literally chipping mortar off these bricks and cleaning them with wire brushes. And I've just, I've never seen a group work this hard. Um, and have this much fun on a day, you know, that's a service day for the community. So we borrow a little saying from the um, American Community Gardening Association that a garden is 90% community and 10% garden. I think that's really important because we wouldn't ha we wouldn't be putting a community garden in here if we hadn't done that community organizing work and have talked to a lot of the you know the folks that live right here in these neighborhoods. It is also good to be in this place. I live a few blocks away and I think that so much of the goodness and the creativity of our entire community is reflected on this plot of land. Uh, it's exciting what's happening here with many ventures and very appropriate that the community garden part of the Sustainable Food Center will be back here along with the offices through which uh, community education on these issues continue. So this morning was our groundbreaking and I have to say it was pretty emotional. We had people here who've been involved in this organization since the start. Um, we had advisory council members, we had our volunteers, uh, we had donors, we had supporters, we had community members. Um, you know, that are involved right here and excited about, you know, growing food across the way. Let me tell you guys, it's incredible. My grandfather would be so proud. We had one huge garden and six properties surrounding that one garden. We were all family. It was my great aunts, my great uncles. We shared the same chicken coop. We shared the same garden. Uh, never did I think that growing, that living here in Austin, Texas in such an amazing urban setting that we would still have these tremendous opportunities. It's so much more than just growing food. It's, it's community building that happens when folks come out on a shared work day and are taking care of all of the shared spaces within it, you know, within a garden. And whenever it comes to issues about food and health and agriculture, I know that I can turn to the Sustainable Food Center as a vital voice on public policy issues. So we need to work on agricultural rates for water and electricity. We need to eliminate wastewater charges for urban farming. Those are the things that we can do as policymakers at the City of Austin. I look forward to those challenges because I see them as opportunities, not challenges. This was our launch into the public phase of our capital campaign. We're very proud to say that we've raised a little over $3 million toward our $4.5 million goal, and so we're almost 70% of our of our goal. And this is an opportunity for us to really sort of shout from the rooftops. So if you go to our website, sustainablefoodcenter.org, and click on the Capital Campaign tab, there's information about the building, about the garden, um, about the sustainability aspects of both of these spaces. Um, there's donor information, there's ways to give, there's ways to get involved. There's a really unique page in there that shows a day in the life of, that really shows how this space is going to be used from sunup to sundown.